Just learning that uh, the Emperor, Emperor Akihito, will address the nation on television. Uh, that's just coming through from uh, Japan. But in terms of the helicopter, uh, that's now underway to see if they can help cool down those levels where the, uh, the rods have uh, been getting very high temperatures, causing those explosions. Well, from Nagata in Western Japan, our correspondent Ian Woods updates us with all the other latest details. We know the situation is getting worse, but we can't tell for sure how much worse. These pictures were taken from a helicopter 30 kilometers away outside the exclusion zone. That cloud may be smoke or it may be steam, but because radiation levels have surged, staff at the plant had to temporarily abandon attempts to deal with it and retreat. In a nuclear crisis, you'd like to have precise information, but Japan's cabinet secretary was unable to offer any. It appears to be that uh, vapor is coming out from the broken part. And I'm not saying this with absolute certainty, but I'm saying this with an assumption. That's a high probability of uh, such phenomena going on. Earlier, there was a fire in reactor number four, but the power company said it had been extinguished. They produced photographs of damage to the reactor's outer buildings caused by earlier blasts. The power of the explosion was clear, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the steel and concrete chamber within has been breached. The government here insists that its response to the nuclear crisis has improved, but there's still a great deal of unease well beyond the 20-kilometer exclusion zone, as well as the area adjacent to it where 140,000 people are being told to keep their doors and windows firmly closed. The crisis has caused huge fluctuations in the Tokyo stock market. Bargain hunters helped it recover from its 10% fall earlier in the week. But while the situation at the Fukushima plant causes international alarm, dealing with the aftermath of the tsunami is still a massive task, and it's been made worse by a return of wintry weather to some devastated areas. The death toll continues to rise as bodies are found, but many thousands more are still missing. And that should put the nuclear crisis in perspective.